In a recent video, I ended up complaining quite a bit about my veterinary experiences, so I thought I'd go ahead and get into it myself. It's only been like two weeks, but I figured I'd get my certification. I know not everyone will just believe me, so I actually got the physical form to bring with me to prove that I do in fact have it signed by a licensed zoologist. I'm no zoologist. Very exciting, I'll hang this up next to my play button because it's much more valuable. And with this, it means that I can perform anything I want on any animal with no consequences. I went on Amazon, bought some different items. Most of these are like college class sort of things. Like this is an $80 telescope. Tel telescope. Licensed vet, everyone. That's me. I got a, a $80 microscope. Um, this is from Walmart. Now this is a very risky video. This is me doing things that I've literally never done before with no practice, no experience, and very little research. This probably sounds terrible and I'm off to an awful start. But let me explain. So we get a lot of animals in that have a lot of issues that do need vet help that do need rehab and that might need treatment or medication or whatever. And for the most part, we can't do very much of the technical stuff where we give x-rays, give blood work, do surgeries. I'm not gonna do any DIY surgeries. But once you get enough experience, I feel like you can do certain little things like at-home physicals on your animal, like checking if they have respiratory infections or, I don't know, there's other things you can check for yourself. And one of those that some people say you can do is check your own animal's fecals for parasites. We've had a handful of parasitic animals like Bonnebel, my, um, what is she? Savannah Monitor, licensed vet. It cost $400 for me to find out she has parasites and then I treated her with medication. It was actually just this, it was this. So they had me get a teeny tiny little doses of this for like $30, when this entire bottle cost $16. It's the exact same thing and it worked perfectly. This is just from Amazon. And so basically you can do at home fecals. This is very common. Most of them are on farm animals. Like if you have goats or pigs or cows and you just wanna check them real quick, see how the herd is doing. But you can do the same thing on reptiles. Not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. Disclaimer, not a tutorial. Uh, it's not my fault if you do this yourself and your animal dies for whatever reason. What I'm going to do is suffer my first ever experience trying to do this on camera. And it, it, the people claim it's very simple. We'll see if where my IQ lies. Quick rundown, I've got two fecal samples here. These are from two of the animals we have here. And my basically my plan is we might as well give everything fecals when they come in. So I've got Ellie, a bearded dragon that you might have seen in a recent video, and a new leopard gecko that came in. First thing I got were these just fecal things. You put the sample in here, you put it in here. So let's get started. Um, we can start with Ellie. I'm just gonna grab a bunch that I can fit. Paras my understanding is parasites will not show up I need gloves. My gloves are downstairs. That's really far away. I'm gonna use hands. So urates do not show parasites. So we'll just grab some of the fecal. This is really messy. I'm off to a great start and I'm going to put it into this. Next up, we're taking fecal med and it's pretty much just a, a, a mix that makes certain things in the fecal float. So I can't get the safety cap off. I did it. Um, again, this microscope was literally like a student kit that you buy on Amazon. So it came with these these things and I'm just gonna use them. I was kind of wondering like, how risky is it to do a video on something that I'm not really qualified to do? I'm gonna drop it in. I, I, I dropped the dropper in the fika med. I got it. So, um, the question is how risky is it to do a video like this? Um, I dropped it again. Uh, and how much criticism am I asking for? I think it's fine. This is mostly for entertainment. Not at my own expense, but not at any animal's expenses. And I'd say the biggest risk that people say is you're gonna influence uh, people, especially kids, to do treatments at home when they really need a vet to do it. And I mean, yeah. I kind of said not to, but other than that, I don't know what to tell you. I'm getting this everywhere. I'm guessing it's fine to get on your hands. It's literally just sodium nitrate and water. So I'm gonna put the fika med in this. People recommend you fill it about halfway to start. The fecal is in here and I am twisting 
to mash it up and get any potential parasitic eggs that are in here to float to the top. Because basically if you come in you want the eggs to float, I think I already said that. Mm. Uh, and so I'm going to take more of this, which I'm really tired of using this dropper. So I'm going to try and find the container. Oh yeah, I didn't spill a single drop. That's what a licensed vet would do. And what I'm going to do is fill it until it's filled. That's still not enough. Good job, me. Next, what I'm going to do is take a um, cover glass slide, which you would like put on a slide, like cover glass. I'm going to put a cover glass, which will go on a slide, but I'm just going to cover because it's a cover glass, you, you, and I'm going to place it on top. Now I'm gonna go let this sit for like 20 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't actually know if that was 20 minutes. I forgot to set a timer. It was probably like 15 to eight. So this is Ellie's. This is a new one that I set up just while that one was going. This is the Leopard Gecko. First, I'll use my Epic EyeSight. I don't see any parasites. That's where the microscope comes in. So, yeah. Also, I forgot to, also, I forgot to mention how bad the background looks right now. It's really not a priority. There's enough else that I'm doing. That's the terrible reason. I should probably fix the background and bring more enclosures up, but I'm lazy and don't feel like lifting them. So next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an actual microscope slide. It's clear, so you probably can't see it, but I can. So what I'm going to do is take off this glass and place it on here. Now I already see there's some bubbles in it. Apparently it's common to mix bubbles up with parasites. So hopefully we'll just see bubbles and no parasites. Because that either means A, the animal's not parasitic, or B, I don't know what I'm doing. So next up, just to make sure I don't mix them up, I'll just go ahead and discard of this one. It is a biohazard, so be careful with it. And I'll slide this slide onto the slider. Okay, so I just have the underside of the light turned on and I have it at a 10 times magnification. Now there's a lot of layers here. There's one, two, three different layers I'm able to focus on. And I don't know which. Like this, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I think I want to find the bubbles. And I'll go ahead and switch to after reviewing these clips more, this is what I believe to be eggs on the top layer that are not moving. Those would be the ones stuck to the glass on top of the slide, while the rest of the movement is just normal bacteria within the fecal that we don't need to worry about as far as I can tell. But what we're focusing on are the eggs that you see in Ellie. Now my best guess is simply going off of images on Google Images, and it looks like some of these. And of course I could be wrong because I've never tried to identify eggs before, but it gives a good idea that there is something there to check out, meaning that Ellie is probably parasitic and needs to be treated. And the question is whether what I'm looking at now is an egg, a bubble, something else, dirt that I picked up off the table, I have no idea. So what I'm gonna do is set this one aside with all of Ellie's stuff, and I'm gonna take the second one on a new slide. So here is just our generic, not generic, but just some random leopard gecko with no particular issues, but it produced for us. Okay, so this is moving around a lot, I guess just because I just put it on. I can definitely see matter just chilling, floating around. And also that would be interesting, like since Ellie has a higher chance of having something, I thought I would compare a seemingly healthy gecko. Meanwhile, the leopard gecko had nothing like this, no eggs were to be seen, which makes sense. The leopard gecko was kind of the control subject because we were pretty sure that it was healthy and we wouldn't see anything, and we were correct. Meanwhile, Ellie just came back from nearly dying, so it's not too surprising that she has something in her fecal. So I'm gonna kind of scour the internet and see. So again, I'm not gonna start doing this on sick animals. I do think it's funny how many people say I'm impersonating a vet. I don't touch anyone's animals at all unless they are mine and I think that we can confidently help them legally. Like I can't get prescriptions for medicines myself. One of our vets actually sold us additional medication because they trusted us with prescribing and giving the correct dosages to our sick animals that come in. But I can get 
pinworm treatment off Amazon. I can't uh, do blood work right now, but I can look for simple things in a fecal that show certain common elements. So I think it's pretty interesting to do and learn and humiliate myself trying to figure out how to do it. I, honestly, I think it's a pretty decent start. For me to not know what I'm doing at all, pretending like I know how, and maybe pulling it off, were you convinced? Were you, were you at least, at least convinced by this? It was, we worked hard on it. I think it's good. So anyway, this is my way of getting into it. Maybe I'll actually find someone that knows what they're doing so they can show me hands-on instead of just watching videos. What was the point of this video? I don't know. I thought it would be interesting to show my first attempt at this and how it went. What do you think? Maybe I'll read your comment and feel bad about myself because you'll tell me how bad I did and how I should never do this again. But either way, that's okay. Thanks for the members for the, whether, supporting this whether they like it or not. They don't know what's coming, but they're supporting it. So thank you for your trust. You probably are good at it. I understand. If you want to become a member, you can sign up. It's five bucks a month. You get some perks. Here's the perks. Cool perks. Am I right? Um, yeah. If you're interested in a healthy animal that wasn't just me guessing whether it's sick or not, uh, they're available on emeraldscales.com. So that was that. I'm going to go wash the fika med off my hands and cry and give up and pretend like I didn't ever try to do any of this. Sorry for lack of uploads. I'm trying. I'll do my best. More to come that are less humiliating than this. Thanks for watching.